Hi, Dara friends. Jade here with Share Your Truth. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. Um, if you like these videos, um, please hit that little like and subscribe button. I really appreciate it. Um, and, uh, you know, hit the little notification bell so that you know when the next uh, videos are being posted. Uh, thank you so much for joining me in this series where I go through uh, card by card from the Rider Waite Smith deck. This one is the Radiant Wise Spirit, and um, I compare it both the artwork and the um, book meanings to my um, to my uh, all the decks that I have. <laughs> Sorry, I got distracted there, uh, or most of the decks that I have, anyway. Um, I am doing this for my own purposes because that is how it, I mean, I, it helps me learn. And then this way I, I also have it recorded so that if I'm, um, sometimes, you know, I like to compare different decks and this way I can just pull up the video and do that. So without further ado, let's have a look. So this, um, in this video, we're covering the page of swords and this, um, <laughs> this rendition of the card just, always brings a smile to my face because what it says to me is, well, one, you know, he's obviously he's young. He's not, doesn't have a beard or anything. Um, there's uh it is sword. So of course it's about air and intellect and reasoning. It looks like it's a pretty windy day based on the, um, based on the trees that are moving. Uh, you know, the situation is, is pretty decent. There's no, uh, there's no danger here right now. He still looks unsettled. And I think, you know, given the foot off the ground, for me, that's about, you know, him, um, for me, that's about him, uh, you know, being young, being inexperienced. And to me, he's like, it's like, he's just taken the sword, you know, maybe from the knight that he's supposed to be looking after, maybe the knight told him to go clean the sword and he's taken it and he's, you know, as with any young boy, he's taken it and he's going to try it out. Um, but he needs to be careful because he could just as easily fall and slice his own, uh, slice his own body up. So, um, anyway, that is what that card says to me. Let's have a look at what the um, Melissa Sanova's book, The Kitchen Table Tarot, says about this card. There is a huge burst of energy that comes with the Page of Swords, but with very little direction or experience. He's chatty and curious, has tons of energy, and his ideas are flying around. As that would be indicated by the all the birds, they aren't investigated though, or given much consideration. There's a lot of initiative with the page of swords, sharp as attack, sharp whip, sharp wit. <laughs> um, on the reverse side, live by the sword, die by the sword. He needs to remember to think before he speaks, to do his research, to stop gossiping and to be careful of the pointy bits of his speech, sarcastic and nasty at times. All right, next, let's have a look at the next world tarot. Um, let's have a look at what that card says, actually. So the page of swords. The Page of Swords cuts through the walls that divide us from privatized natural resources. She rallies other warriors, other purveyors of safety and truth, teachers, activists, and youth. She laughs when she sees when seen as a monster in the eyes of industry, environmental terrorists, and white supremacists. She rallies the Court of Swords as her affinity group, together ensuring a radical array of ancestral gifts in the front line of any revolution. The Page of Swords asks you to cut through the roles that are forced onto you. She asks you to speak your highest truth, fight your greatest gift, scam your greatest en enemy, and rage with your fullest heart. Whose side are you on? All right, let's have a look. So we've got the Art History Tarot. The Fountain Tarot. That is the night. That's not the 
Tarot Muha. Let's see what that one says. A thoughtful and contained person who considers things well before taking action. He takes time to see the larger perspective and seeks understanding in all things. He is open to new ideas and philosophies while still respecting traditional views. His mind is more receptive than his heart, at least at present, and emotional entanglements may feel like a distraction from his greater purpose. If this card doesn't represent a person, it can mean a time of negotiation that requires the willingness to see all sides of the question dispassionately. Intellectualism, calm scrutiny, detachment from personal entanglements. Now that is quite a difference from the, the meaning that we read for that one, isn't it? The Hidden Realms. The Shadowscapes. Santa Muerte. Let's see what that one says. Actually, I won't read the whole thing. I'm just going to read um, a portion of it. Be prepared by evaluating all the possible openings or outlets through which the situation could degenerate and vent. Which is very similar to the description I read for the Tarot Muha, isn't it? The Mystic Monday. The Joie de Vivre. The Housewives. The Mermaid Tarot. The Ooh, Sorry about that. Dame Darcy, Wild well, Unknown, The Lightseers, Spirit, The Revelation Tarot, and let's have a look at what that one says, and that'll probably be the last one that I read for the RWS style. All right, so this one says... Again, I'm not going to read the entire thing, but Page of Swords. Um, she is a shrewd lady who wields her sword in a protective manner. She is cautious of others and hides behind her words. The Page of Swords represents the awakening of one's mind to the endless possibilities and ideas that surround us. Here, new thoughts and ideas will spring to mind and breeze through your life like a refreshing gust of air. You may feel a youthful energy flowing within you urging you to participate and join in activities that stimulate the mind as well as the psyche. Again, this is quite different than the RWS, um, where the RWS did say, you know, there's all these ideas floating, but they're sort of, you know, not, <laughs> they're sort of far away um, and not given much consideration. As a person, this card embodies an individual with a stern but curious outlook on life. This person is forever examining, dissecting, and psychoanalyzing others. He or she could be a student of anthropology or of the sciences. Bright, refreshing, and intelligent would be attributes common to this person. In situations, you will find yourself entering and exploring new and uncharted regions of the mind. New ideas and new concepts will be put into play, exposing you to endless possibilities for the future. Around you will be games to play, wittiness, and humor to tickle your funny bone. On the reverse side, she is a spiteful lady who disturbs the peace through lies and malicious gossip. She whispers in the winds, planting seeds of doubt. The reverse of this card warns you that those around you will spread lies and gossip for their own enjoyment. Lies and trickery will fly all around you to add to the confusion. As a person, this card embodies the individual who uses news and knowledge to his or her own advantage. As a gossiper, propagator of untruths, and cunning liar, this person moves around swiftly and in the shadows, spinning a web of deceit in which to trap and trap others. In situations, you may find yourself involved in a scandal. Friends and acquaintances seem to talk behind your back to others. 
You overhear snippets of gossip and whispers of terrible things that others have done. A cloak and dagger atmosphere fills the air. Okay, so Everdy Witch, the Muse, Enchanted Forest, Game of Thrones. Not crazy that they chose him for that card, but I think an early Aya would be better. Aquarian, Mystic Manga, Spiral, Chikoli, Raven Prophecy, Influence of the Angels, sorry, I should show the back there, so that is the uh, Vice Versa Tarot, so that's the front. And the back. Tarot de la Nuit. Deviant Moon. The Crow. Page of Swords. The Rackham Tarot. Looks like Artemis to me. Or Diana, maybe. That is not the Page of Swords. The Gilded. The Zombie. Herb Crafters. Wildwood. And that's it for the RWS style. So let's move on to some ancient Italian and uh, Marseille style. Move those out of the way. All right, so start with the Minchiate Etruria. Uh, class, uh, Classico Marsiglia. Valentina Visconti, so the pages are called Valetto which is page in Italian. We've got the ancient Italian and let's see what that one says. All right, so researcher, investigator, revelations, search for truth and surveillance. The tattoo tarot, let's see what that one says. It says spy observer, <laughs> similar to the ancient Italian, right? Um, vigilance, examination, indiscretion, surprise, the unknown, unseen, unexpected, stealth, cunning, outspoken, sometimes at cost, but skillful at handling controversy. That's the first time we've, um, in those two cards, it's the first time we've read about this page actually being skilled at something. One JJ, the Solabusca, Tarot of the Master, Tarot Classic, the um, Visconti Sforza, Paradoxical version of Triumphi de la Luna. All right, and let's have a look at what the Tarot Classic just has to say about this page. All right, so the divinatory meaning says, this card symbolizes a person adept at perceiving, discerning, and uncovering the unknown or that which is less than obvious. The quality of insight, vigilance, agility, spying, a discreet person, an active youth, a lithe figure, alert and awake to unknown dangers. On the reverse side, revealed as an imposter, unforeseen, illness is also possible. Powerlessness in the face of stronger forces, lack of preparation. 
so here we finally, with this card, we finally start seeing um, um, a bigger diversion between the Rider Waite Smith um, meanings, book meanings anyway, um, not talking to what your intuition might tell you in particular, in a particular situation. Uh, so between that and the ancient Italian and Marseille style. And if we now start looking at the Thoth system, I think we'll see something different as well. Let's have a look. So we have the Handel Tarot. And if we read what that one says, uh, assuming I can find it, here it is. All right. Where are you, Paige? My apologies. They uh, go through the suits from 1 till 10. Okay, they've grouped the court card separately. So we've got here, where are we? I'm having trouble finding this. I've got the mother of swords, the father, the done, da I mean daughter. Okay, son of swords, sorry about that. Osiris is a peaceful ruler. His crook and flail indicate his power derives from his role as a teacher of agriculture. He is, um, he is in white as the first mummy and lord of the afterworld. The divinatory meanings. Someone gentle yet persuasive, an initiate into esoteric mysteries, kindness. On the reverse side, weakness, possibly corruption. So again, quite a different take than what we have with Rider Waite Smith, where this this guy is very uh, inexperienced. But in both the Thoth and the ancient Italian of Marseille, it says nothing about inexperience actually. Um, quite the opposite in fact in terms of the that spying piece the the um, agility of the mind all right and then we've got the um Aleister Crowley Thoth which I've trimmed down to the artwork and um and the sorry is that this I think I may have read that wrong Sorry, clearly I know nothing about Thoth. So I read this. I, I was thinking that this is the son, but it actually isn't, is it? It's the daughter. So I did read the wrong one. I'm sorry. I'm not going to... Um, I'm not going to edit this out because we all do make, make mistakes. So the Daughter of Swords says... Uh, Isis is there, hair falls like a like water she is mother of pharaohs an abstract throne crowns her above her third eye the cobra connects the king to spiritual powers hathor the cow goddess is on the right she is the goddess of love dance beauty and ecstasy the divinatory meanings say a powerful figure confident and dynamic and on the reverse side loss of confidence and depression so again you know, my comments still stand in terms of being very, very different than that, not inexperienced. Okay, so now let's go back to, I, my apologies for that. Um, let's go back to the Millennium, or the Thoth and Millennium Thoth, and those descriptions. So in this case, the pages are called princesses. Okay, let's see, where are we here? Probably read the English, not the Italian version. All right, so uh, your mind is ready to learn new disciplines. Be flexible and light of foot. Refine your movements. On the reverse side, giving into frivolous attentions, sticking to old ways of solving problems, logic issues. Um, the, descri the description, by the way, says the princess of swords stands ready to fight, her sword drawn. Her crown is blue and contains many snakes reminiscent of... Medusa. 
Her dress is light and airy. No armor appears. She even has fairy wings. While she may be ready to fight, she has a lot more to learn. So here we do have a little bit of the, you know, we're ready to fight, but we do have, uh, we do have some inexperience, unlike some of the others. So this does speak to, you know, <laughs> this does speak to the differences, the nuances between decks and why, for me anyways, it's really important to have a look um, and compare them so that I can, I can better uh, feed my intuition. Anyway, so that is all I have for the Page of Swords or Princess of Swords, um, as the case may be, or the Valet or, or um, <laughs> Knave of Swords, as the case may be. And uh, we will, I'll see you next time in the Knight of Swords. I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, please leave um, a comment down below. I'd love to hear. And my apologies for the mistakes there on the description of, of the handle tarot. Um, let me know what your experience has been with this card. I, I would love to know. And until next time, I'll see you later. Bye.